Hi, I'm Coach Omni, and in this lesson, we're going to break down the definition of esports, the difference between video games and esports, the genres of games in esports, and what qualifies a game as an esport. According to dictionary.com, esports is defined as competitive tournaments of video games, especially amongst professional gamers. Essentially, esports is when you take a video game, you structure it in a tournament-like setting with rules and guidelines, and compete against other teams or individuals to determine a winner. These tournaments can be played both in person, online, or a combination of both. At the heart of it all, when you hear the term esports, you should think of structured video game tournaments in a competitive setting. It's also important to note that the term esports generally references the industry as a whole whole, not a particular video game title or tournament. This is because esports is the word that encompasses all competitive video game tournaments across all video game titles, meaning the word esports is more equivalent to the word sports, not baseball or volleyball or soccer. The equivalent to a game like soccer and esports would be an esports title like Overwatch. You might be wondering what video game titles are considered esports then. When it comes to esports titles, there are a few different genres of games that we generally consider esports. The main genres are MOBA, FPS, Fighting, RTS, Battle Royale, Sports and Racing. MOBA stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. MOBAs are a team-based strategy game where you have to work together with your teammates to achieve a common goal, typically to destroy an enemy's base. Team size usually is five players per team with each player controlling one hero or character within that game. FPS stands for first person shooter and as the name suggests these games focus on simulating a firefight from the first person perspective and maybe either individual or team based. Fighting games are usually individual competitions with both players providing input into the same machine. You control a character and fight your opponent's character until one of you wins. RTS stands for real time strategy. These games are similar to to MOBAs, except instead of controlling one character throughout the game, it generally features individual competitors who control their entire team. Battle Royale games are either first-person or third-person shooter games that involve being placed onto a map with dozens of other players to compete to see who can be the last one standing. Sports and racing games are simply games that are based off of their live counterparts. Each of the genres I mentioned have video game titles that are respected as esports. Now, for a video game to be classified as an esport, it needs to have a few things. First, it needs to be a game that is played against other real people with a clear winner. Second, it needs to have a clear structure and rule set to ensure consistency and to make sure the outcome of the game is 100% dependent on the skill of the players, not luck. Finally, it must have some sort of reward for the contestants. This can be cash prizes, trophies, really anything. However, if you remember the definition of esports, it references professional gamers. To be a professional gamer simply means you make your full-time living off of gaming. This is important because when trying to figure out if a game is a true esports title or not, we need to consider if a player can make a full time living off of playing that game. That's why when we talk about esports, generally we are only referring to the top tier esports titles. This is because they have a large enough prize pool every year to support the top players full time. So what are those current top tier esports titles I mentioned? Well, currently the top tier esports titles here in America are League of Legends and Dota 2, which belong to the MOBA category and are team-based strategy games with five people on each team, CSGO, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege, and Overwatch, which are first person shooting games. CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege, and Call of Duty are played with teams of five. Overwatch is played with teams of six, making it the largest team-based esport right now. Rocket League, which is a game that combines RC cars and soccer, Fortnite and Apex Legends, which belong to the Battle Royale category, FIFA and NBA 2K, which are sports games, and Hearthstone, which is an online card game. Those are all the top tier titles here in North America right now. However, it is a moving industry and every year new games are introduced and some games fall off. So you kind of just have to keep up with it. So the next natural question you might ask yourself is, how much money do these professional gamers really make? Well, in the next lesson, we're gonna dive into that as well as other statistics and numbers that cover the esports industry, such as how much money is being awarded, viewership numbers, and much, much more. I'll see you there.